Hello and welcome to the Royal Oak Holiday Magic Parade. I'm Courtney Patrick and I'm standing here in the middle of 4th and Washington and there are people lining the streets, the sun is shining, there's live music all around and it's a great day for a parade. We're even going to get a visit from Santa Claus later on. I'd like to introduce our hosts, Charlie Langton and Royal Oak Commissioner Carlo Giannotti. Thank you. Thank you, Courtney. And it is a great day to be here in downtown Royal Oak for this fourth annual parade. And I am here with the commissioner, a top vote getter, a popular guy. Is that, was I supposed to say all that stuff? Is yeah, that, right? that was I do right. That's I do? just the way I told you to say it. Yes, there. thank you very much, Charlie. <laughs> thank you. There we go. We've got everybody here today uh, from uh, bands to Marilyn Monroe is coming today. That's what I hear. I was so excited. I can't Not wait. only Santa Claus, but Marilyn Monroe, too, and I'm very excited. A beautiful day today. It's a great day, and I'll tell you what. It, it, the weather is going to hold out. It's going to be good. There are over 50 floats today, the largest on the, in this fourth annual that we've been uh, coming here, downtown uh, Royal Oak. What is the, uh, this is the Downtown Development Authority is putting this on in downtown Royal Oak. What's the significance of this? Well, it's, a, it's significant because what it shows is that the people who actually work and live in this city uh, have a invested interest in the Downtown Development Authority. Uh, they put this together. Peggy Goodwin and the Goodwin Company have organized this. And like you say, Charlie, there's 50 floats and 50 units today. There's going to be a, a phenomenal salute to law enforcement. And I'm just, I'm very excited about being here today. I'm excited about this for the whole city. And what we also found out, too, is when we uh, took a, a look at the massive amounts of people that are now lighting the streets, getting ready for this parade, is that they're not just from Royal Oak. We met people from Birmingham and from Fraser, Macomb County, Oakland County, Wayne County. They're all here, and the people will be represented in the parade as well. High school bands, marching bands, floats, the business, everyone is coming to downtown Royal Oak for this fourth annual parade, and we are happy to be here. I am happy to. Do you notice I'm standing in a hole here, so it makes me look like I'm shorter than you, but uh, <laughs> I'm happy to be here today, though. All right, we are going to take a quick break. When we come back, the parade, the fourth annual parade, downtown Royal Oak. We'll take a break. Back in a moment. All right. Holiday magic in Royal Oak. Hello, Charlie Langton here along with Commissioner Carlo Giannotti presenting the parade, the one and only, the best in this area, downtown Royal Oak. Oh, what a great day, Carlo. Oh, I think so, Charlie. And I'll tell you, by the crowd here, I think this is going to be the largest parade that we've had. I bet you there's probably 15,000 people here. Would you think? I, I would think there's at least 15,000 people. We'll try to get an estimate, but I'll tell you what, we were here a couple of hours ago, and, uh, and the people were just coming in, and they kept on coming. And as you can see, all along the side of Washington, downtown Royal Oak, you can see the, the people lining up. And as you can see there, Carl, uh, the parade is uh, just about to start. Now, yeah, this year, it's it's going to be led by the uh, law enforcement, I believe. They always lead it off, and the fire department, as I'm told, uh, will actually ring in the official start of the parade. Before we get to the official start of the parade, let's go to Courtney, who uh, she is out amongst the masses here at Royal Oak. Courtney? Where are you from? Huntington Woods. So how did you hear about the Royal Oak Parade? Well, we've been coming for years, but um, we also, you know, noticed the notice in the mirror, so we made sure to come on out. Excellent. And you do know that Santa Claus is coming later, don't you? Uh-huh. Yeah. And uh, so what brings you out to the parade? You just decided to have fun in the sun today? It's a beautiful day, and it's a good way to start off the holidays. It certainly is. And I'm so glad you came out, and we're going to just see Santa in a little while. We're all excited, and we'll go back to you guys. All right, thank you, Courtney. As you can see, the parade is being led by Royal Oaks Finest, the police department. You know something about that, don't you, Commissioner Carlo Giannotti? Yes, we do. Today, uh, as in all parades, the uh, lead off is by the Royal Oak Police Department, and following closely behind them is the Royal Oak Fire Department. Uh, this year, uh, it's important to know that uh, we do have a lot of auxiliary police officers out there as well. And the auxiliary police officers, I think, Charlie, what do we, there's about six or seven of them out there today out of a possible force of about 12 or 15. And uh, they are truly the invisible army, keeping and, control of everything else here. And they do this on a volunteer basis. Volunteer basis, volunteer can you Volunteer basis, and yes. they've been doing it for all the four years that, uh, that this parade has been going on. But for so many other events, 
in downtown Royal Oak. And that's what's so good about this is a real community event. People come out there, business supports it. We'll be talking as the parade gets on about the various businesses in downtown Royal Oak that support this, this parade. I'll tell you, we are we are in the midst of people. We are surrounded. There's at least 15,000 people. Oh, this There's is no incredible. doubt in my mind the record will be set today for a holiday parade. Well, I think... It has a lot to do with the weather today, too, and, and plus the uh, the promise that this is going to be one of the best parades we've had uh, in the four years. So I'm looking forward to it. You can see the police officers coming, and followed up by the fire department. The, uh, the One of the sponsors of the Sullivan family is uh, Holiday Magic. Uh, what do you know about the Sullivan, uh, the Sullivan family, Carl? Well, the Sullivan family have been active uh, in uh, Royal Oak in the community for uh, quite some time. Uh, they've been very active in the DDA and have been a sponsor of Royal Oak, and they're just a big supporter. And a uh, little-known fact that uh, William Sullivan was the first city's uh, Royal Oak uh, fire chief. A little-known fact there from uh, Cliff Clavin, your, uh, your sidekick here. But he was the first fire chief of the city of Royal Oak. So they go way back, and it's a, it's a great pleasure to be uh, uh, announcing this parade that they played such a part in today. So yeah, as you can see, uh, Royal Oak's finest making its way north on Washington Avenue, downtown Royal Oak. What's really uh, interesting is all the balloons that uh, the Prontos, one of the sponsors of today's parade, uh, put out. I saw Bill Thomas of Pronto earlier, and he had about a thousand balloons, it seems like that, in his hand, handing them out to all of the kids along Washington Street. Yeah, Pronto's has been uh, a big, big supporter of the city for quite some time. They've expanded their business, and uh, if any of you have a chance after the parade, uh, after the, uh, the festivities are over, to walk down there, they've decorated their, uh, their business, and it looks very, I guess the word is Christmassy. I guess, is that a word? We're going to use a lot I, today. I think, I think it is. So. They, they've decorated it so well. They're certainly in the holiday a spirit, uh, Pronto's in the corner store. Uh, probably about a year or so that the corner store, Pronto's, uh, has been open, but always a very good sponsor of, uh, of many city events, not only the holiday parade today, uh, but I'll, I'll, I'll many, many, many times. You hear the sirens in the background, Carl? And the flags. Uh, and uh, here comes the, uh, the honor, honor guard. guard, isn't it? Yes, this is the honor guard here. These guys... Uh, they do one heck of a job uh, at all the ceremonies. It's a very humbling experience to watch them. Look at the skill and the uh, look yeah. at the skill that uh, and, and the and they're all in step too. Yes, yeah, so it's just it's they practiced that. They were out early this morning practicing that. Yes, they were. Here's uh, Royal Oaks uh, Fire Department. Here we've got uh, a new chief right here. Oh. Yep, new chief of the new fire chief. department Can't outside it, Royal Oak. But, uh, you'll be seeing it in a little while. Of course, the new chief is Will White. I don't know if I mentioned that. Good job there. Oh, oh little some, kids. What would a parade be without little right kids? Here. Oh, the backbone of Royal Oak, right here. Little kids waiting for Santa. The Downtown Development Authority Manor. Again, a very big, a very important part of Downtown Royal Oak, the DDA. The DDA, and it's important to know that uh, Royal Oak will be going out on a high this year, Charlie. 83% occupancy rate downtown and 10 new residential developments. So it's truly amazing. It's a huge truck, isn't it? Yes. That how many? Do you have any idea how many trucks Royal Oak? I mean, I, I'm just curious. It, it seems like that's a, a huge, huge truck. And that uh, it gets a lot of use too. Uh, the fire department do a fine job of uh, protecting us and keeping us safe. That is one large truck. Right. Though. That is one of my favorite restaurants, Lily Seafood. There, I will frequent that. Uh, I, I do frequent that quite often. And as have I, <laughs> as you can tell. <laughs> no. <laughs> holiday, uh, holiday magic, National City. Uh, another sponsor. National City, they're returning as their third year uh, sponsors for this uh, wonderful event. Uh, what a great community partner they've been, Charlie. <laughs> and I think I, I think I hear some bagpipes coming, Charlie. Yeah, I think so, too. I see a good uh, part of the, the downtown Royal, a little of the development going on there, it looks like. All right, let's go to our correspondent, our, our person about the masses here, Courtney. Come on in. I'm here with Mike Upton. Oh, I'm sorry. How are you guys doing today? Is, what is your it. favorite part Craig, of this Royal Oak Parade? Do you have one? I like the music so far. She enjoys uh, dancing and seeing the music and the musicians, so she's having a good time. Excellent. Well, how do you feel about Irish music? Uh, it's, it's not bad. It's kind of soothing. Well, we're going to see some right now. Let's throw it on back to these guys. Okay. We're back here today. This is the Caber Fed Up Bagpipe Band. Again, it's sponsored by National City. 
This is a wonderful group of bagpipers from all over Metro Detroit that take part in this uh, salute to uh, law enforcement today. You can see them, uh, boy, I'll tell you, when you hear bagpipes, it just kind of sends a chill up your spine. This is another wonderful, wonderful addition to this parade. Again, very important. Wonderful part of this parade. to make a flow like that. I mean, just... I think it's uh, three and a half days, I think. It is the <laughs> is average time. That's the Holiday Magic Salute to uh, law enforcement. Uh, this is sponsored by the, I believe, the Downtown Development Authority. And I think we have all of the uh, dignitaries here. I see uh, our very own uh, Chief Quisenberry there. And we see uh, the Sheriff Bouchard around here somewhere. Definitely a patriotic theme. It's a grand float. Uh, that's a, It's a huge eagle, too. That is. It's, it's, look at that. It's going to... Uh, it's an amazing, amazing That is float. an amazing bird. Now, they have to be careful when they make the flows because there's height requirements because of the uh, traffic lights. <laughs> yeah, I think they've taken that into uh, consideration. Here's... <laughs> I do recall there was a city one time, would, uh, uh, not in Royal Oak, of course, but another a parade where there was, that was an issue. They couldn't get the float down the street because of the, <laughs> because of the height of the float. The this green is, bee... This is the Green Bee. I'm sorry. This is uh, it is a, a great gift store here, right on Washington, and I uh, urge anyone to uh, go there and uh, frequent that very wonderful, uh, wonderful store. They make uh, candle burning tips, holiday gifts, that type of thing at yes. the Green Bee. Yes, great in store. fact, uh, they're going to be inside the uh, uh, Royal Oak. Uh, you can visit them afterwards after the uh, Royal Oak Theater from noon to four. And be safe. Yes. Be safe. See, look at all the people. Good shot of the people there. Good, good, good shot of the of the crowds that have uh, uh, come to be. And I, I think, Carlo, you're right. There's uh, certainly the weather has a lot to do with it. It's just an absolutely beautiful, beautiful day here in Royal Oak. It, it, it's wonderful. It is. It is. And I, I don't think it does it justice looking at the TV. But uh, for anyone who is here who has ever experienced a parade like this, you really feel the energy, and you feel uh, the excitement here in downtown Royal Oak. Stage crafters, you know, Carla, you'd be good at that. You, you should join. You know what? If, if the political career goes sour, you can get a job as an actor. I'm telling you, you're qualified, and the stage crafters would be the place to do it. Some uh, some people have told me that I'm a good actor. I think. <laughs> but stage crafters, what a, what a, a, a again, it's a it's a great uh, organization, and look at the excitement from these kids. Oh, so here we have a, a clown. We have a. Who is that? Do you recognize I don't that, know. Uh, that I don't guy, know, Charlie? He's, he's kind of he's jaywalking there. I don't know if he's got a license for that. Look at that hand. That's not Mayor Ellison, is it? No, no, I don't think so. <laughs> no, he's coming later. Sorry about that, Jim. No, I'll see no, you when no, you come no. down. No, no. He doesn't have, it's not quite the color hair. No, <laughs> no. And people are dancing in the streets. Uh, oh, this yeah. This is more of the Royal Oak's finest. You know, I, uh, it's be a good be a good day to commit some crime in Royal Oak. All the, you've got every law enforcement of the world in this parade. Well, that'd be one way to look at it, Not Charlie. that we're <laughs> advertising our committing uh, crimes here, but uh, no. This is the uh, Royal Oak Crime Prevention Council, and uh, there you go. Good morning. There's Mayor Ellison. I'm, no, that's not, that's not. I'm you know I'm going to pay for that on Monday night at the commission <laughs> meeting. <you know. laughs> He's going to say that. <laughs> I'm just taking my leave from the commissioner here. And there's uh, a newly elected uh, city commissioner, uh, Gary Lolito, following... There's a no. That's no, not that the city is not commissioner. Gary, no, no, not, that's McGruff. That's, yeah, that's the crime that's, dog. <laughs> takes a bite out of crime. That's not Gary Lolito. But I think uh, he's in the parade, though. Commissioner Elect uh, was right behind him. I think I saw. And there's uh, of course the uh, the Sullivan family Sullivan again. Family. As you said earlier, Carl Giannotti. Seriously, we are a, 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 a very big supporter of the community, uh, the Sullivan family. This is true, though. Even though they uh, run what uh, some may consider a very solemn business as owners of William & Sons, uh, they are anything but. Uh, they're big supporters of the city of Royal Oak, and they've helped build uh, and have contributed immensely to this city and other com uh, the communities surrounding uh, Royal Oak. Charlie, some things is the YMCA and the Boys Club, uh, Boys and Girls Club. And right. one of the first of many bands to come in this fourth annual Holiday Magic Parade downtown Royal Oak. This is a band from Utica High School, the Utica High School Marching Band. Let's take a minute and listen to the great sounds from the Utica Marching Band. Sounds like a plan.
I'll tell you, one of the many bands, the uh, Utica Marching Band, there will be others in this parade, along with horses, uh, sleigh, sled, sleds, sleighs, I guess. <laughs> All Sounds kinds of things. Obviously, everyone is in the spirit for the fourth annual Holiday Magic Royal Oak. We are downtown a Royal Oak on a wonderful, wonderful day. I thought you were going to say there's another elected commissioner. No, 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 that's, no, 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 no. that's a workhorse. The commissioners are the show horses. A, a different <laughs> type of workhorse, right? Yes. Right. There's your car. Beautiful. That's a beautiful car. I think that's driven by uh, Andre Tomkew, and right behind is uh, some more elected officials, I believe. No, those are the horses. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. behind the horse. Oh, behind uh, the horse. I'm I believe sorry. that's State Representative. Uh, it's hard to tell. I think it's State Representative Marie Donegan. And I think followed by. Once they come, that's. Uh, so many people at this parade, it's hard to see over their, their heads today, Charlie. Now, now, there's now, the this mayor, is mayor, there's the his mayor wife, and Jody. his wife, Joey. All right, now I recognize him. Da, I, I, and of course, uh, <laughs> Mayor, the campaign's over. You won. You don't have to shake any hands. He's nah, a good he guy. He's, he's a good guy. He's a great he guy. He's a very good guy. And when he listens to this tape, I'm going to have heck to pay on Monday night. <laughs> <laughs> no question about it. Uh, and we should congratulate the mayor, and uh, he just uh, won uh, an election, re-elected, I should say. Re-elected to, to his second term as mayor, and uh, of course, before that, he was a city commissioner uh, back in the early 90s, I believe. So and always uh, involved in uh, Royal Oak activities, uh, even when he was not on the commission. Okay, I see another band coming up here, Charlie. They're probably going to tell us to be quiet again, you think, and listen to the band? No, not really, no. No, no, <laughs> whatever. We just do what we're told. That's true. Uh, this is Kimball High School, if I am, uh, if I am correct. I believe it is. Kimball High School's marching band, yes, another it is. Sullivan family sponsor. The music director is Dave Jensen. Now, next year, Carl and Gennady, Kimball will be called the Royal Oak High School. That's correct. My favorite part of a, a, a parade, it would be the bands. Bands and the clowns, I think. Am I? They've got my uh, toes tapping right now. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever play a musical instrument? Were you in a band when yes, you were actually, in high school? Yes, uh, believe it or not, I played the trombone, and uh, I think I played the uh, harmonica or the uh, uh, the kazoo. I think the it was kazoo. kazoo. Yes. Yeah, that is uh, that's a good that's a good that's a very difficult instrument to play. It was very difficult. Very difficult I, uh, instrument. I did the best I could. Charlie. Is it just me? We get a lot of horses in the parade today. Lots of horses. This is. Oops. The people are running. Get a good shot downtown Royal Oak. You can see all the activity. A lot of the people over there, uh, just going around and get some reckless drivers. I'm, I'm sorry, oh, some drivers there. <laughs> uh, that must be. They, they look like Shriners to me. I think they're heading the wrong way. Somebody better. Uh, somebody better go out somebody there and better. tell them. All right, Courtney, you're standing by. What do you have, Courtney? I am on the side of the road here, kneeling down as these crazy cars pass. And now, Virginia, you guys went crazy when the Royal Oak Band went by. Why? Because my niece is in it, Rebecca Snay. And what does she play in the band? Uh, what does she play? She's playing some Marinette. kind of Marinette. Marinette. Yeah. And did they have to practice long for this? Was she really into this parade, getting oh, ready? Oh, yes. She's really into the band, period. Yes, loves it. She's a freshman, first year, so she's enjoying it. That is wonderful. Well, that was great that you got to see your cousin. Yeah. We're going to throw it back to the parade. Okay, bye-bye. Thanks, Courtney. Always fun time. St. Dennis. St. Dennis. Uh, Royal Oak, drum and choir group. Hey, look at that flow, Charlie. I like it. That's pretty interesting. There's a, got a bass, I think. That's a bass on the back. That's a, that's a big one, too. Yes. That's a big bass. See, and you thought I didn't have any musical talents. No, I, no I'm very impressed with your musical ability. Very, very impressed. Playing some holiday holiday music, no doubt. Yes, the music's starting to uh, to reach us over here. To hear that oh, music. yeah. And they all decked out in their Christmas hats. All right, we are going to take a quick break. We're going to come back. We are here, Charlie Lighton, along with Commissioner Carlo Giannotti. We are at the downtown of Elmwood Authority. Holiday Magic in Royal Oak. We're going to take a very quick break. We will be back. And we are back. The fourth annual Holiday Magic in Royal Oak. 
Charlie Langton back here along with Commissioner Carlo Giannotti. And what a time to come back to the ice cream. Oh, my oh, favorite. This is my, my favorite. favorite. This is uh, Eddie's uh, and Nestle Street Treat Patrol, Charlie. This is sponsored by Eddie's Ice Cream and Nestle. And, you know, you think, you, you'd think at a holiday parade, you know, that you, we'd want to really get some ice cream. But I tell you, the weather is actually, it is, I think it's warmed up a little bit. No, I think it's uh, It's a perfect time for ice cream. It's high 70s right now, and it's just perfect for ice cream. Yes. <laughs> watch, out, watch out, kids. I think they're throwing some treats and goodies around. Yeah, they sure are. Oh, they are. Yes. Let's throw some this way. that would be good. It's always a crowd pleaser. Even here they come. Maybe we'll get some, Charlie. You know, always a crowd pleaser, even on a cold day like today. And the people in the front row, they are actually throwing ice cream out there. Look at that. This yes. is like Halloween. We met some people that actually arrived about two hours before the parade started because they wanted to get a good seat in the parade. Hey, they are throwing out some ice cream there. Look out. I hope it's not frozen treats. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the people. Look at this. Probably, I mean, it's got to be 15,000 people here. Oh, I think easy, yes. I think it far exceeded any expectations that uh, the planners had. Uh, Give it a good toss there. Give it a good toss. Yeah. Ice cream at the Christmas or the holiday. Yeah, look out. Thank you. Oh. Doesn't get any better than this. No. Well, well it's not going to melt, but it's uh, it's not quite that uh, <laughs> not quite that warm, but that's good, though. And again, it just, it just goes to show you that so many of the businesses here in Royal Oak and the surrounding area have come out uh, for this parade. It really does bring a lot of people together, community together. Not, and again, not only in Royal Oak, but Tri-County area. Oh, definitely. I think that, uh, again, this is a testament to the dedication that these businesses have to the downtown area to keep things moving. I mean, I'm a little biased, of course, but what a great city we have. Now, whose dog is that? What are these dogs? I oh, think that's that might, Milt Wilcox. I think that might be Milt Wilcox with his dog, uh, Sparky. Back together again. Milt Wilcox and, and Sparky and uh, the Tigers. Now, I actually, uh, I, I played some baseball with Milt Wilcox and the Tiger Fantasy Cap, and he was my manager. See Milt Wilcox. Remember. Yell out to him, Charlie. Hey, Melt, come on! That dog, it, it bites, it bites. Bite him, bite him, bite him. Hey, Melt, hey, Melt. <laughs> hey, Melt. <laughs> yeah, he's trained, so. yeah the, the, he has trained the dog very well. You know, right? he, he, should be, he should be throwing some stuff out there. Yeah, he should be throwing frozen treats or maybe a Frisbee. I hear he <laughs> does that quite often. Ah, yes, that's true. That's true. Good guy, Bill Wilcox. More traditional Christmas look here, downtown Royal Oak. Courtney, come on in. I know you're standing by. Courtney? Yes, I am standing by, and I've got Suzanne here with me. Suzanne, now you've got a jacket on, but you're starting to unzip it. How's the weather feeling to you out here? It's beautiful. It's a gorgeous day. And what brings you out to the parade? My daughter marches with the Kimball High School, and I'm here with my niece and the rest of my family. Excellent. Did she go by already? She already went by, yeah. And were you yelling your head off? Oh, yes. Excellent. Oh, yes. Excellent. Now, we just had some ice cream hurled at us from uh, the ice cream vendors going by, and um, it's, it's warm enough for ice cream out here. Can you believe it? Yeah, it's a beautiful day. Gorgeous weather. Well, thank you so much for coming out, and enjoy the rest of the parade. Excellent. We're sending it back to the parade. Thank you, Courtney. I'll tell you, we got some, uh, a couple of, uh, we should say, uh, some of the restaurants have been giving away free coffee, free tea. Look at that there, Charlie. That You know who that is, don't you? That's, uh, that's Paws. That's Paws. That Paws. is Paws. He is the uh, Tigers mascot. I've met him many times down at uh, Comerica Park. He probably won't remember me, but uh, I have met him. Uh, Paws, of course, Charlie will be at uh, Santa's Kingdom after the parade. I think he's going to be greeting the children and uh, taking care of business. Very good. And there's our, one of the sponsors, Magic 105.1. Magic. This is the third year that they've been uh, uh, sponsoring the parade. Third year supporting the parade and helping to bring thousands of Royal Oak, uh, thousands to Royal Oak for this great day. Thousands. Thousands, thousands, maybe 15. There's the Charlotte. Is that, Char is that Charlotte? Let's just take a quick break and listen to that wonderful band that we've got here right now. members are from Royal Oak. 
that Charlotte? Charlotte? Charlotte. 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 Of course, Charlie, you know that that's Santa's uh, official fine jeweler. Oh. Yeah. The, oh. And obviously another sponsor of this great parade. Wonderful. Andy Amo. I'm so happy when Andy Amo moved downtown Royal Oak. Oh. I remember That's the original Andiamo in, uh, in Warren on 14 Mile and Van Dyke area. That's one of my uh, favorite uh, Italian restaurants. Do you know anything about Italian restaurants? Uh, Italian food? Carlo Gennaro? I know a lot about Italian food. I know <laughs> food generally. <laughs> hey, you could give a good recommendation. That's right. <laughs> that is a great place, though. That's that Andiamo's on, on Main Street, of course. Ooh. Look at that. Look at that. Star Elementary. That's the Star Elementary Girl Scout Troops, 729 and 156. It's sponsored by uh, Andiamo. And it's always good when you get all the, the Girl Scout Troops and the Boy Scout Troops and the different parades and all the kids. That really is another thing that makes this season so much fun. Another float. Look at the, look at the detail on that. You know, that's what you like to see. Floats like this uh, right downtown Royal Oak here. Wow. It's amazing. Look, that is, it, is an amazing float. Think that's going to make it under the light there, Charlie? I, I, don't, I don't know. I'm I sure don't know. they planned it out. It's going to be <laughs> close, though. <laughs> it's, it's very close, actually. You know, looking up at the lights, I'm sure the camera can't see, but there's actually people on the third floor up here looking down on the parade. It's a, just so many people here today. And some people are getting uh, rides on shoulders and uh, walking and, uh, oh. You've got a hat like that, don't you, Charlie? That little three uh, <laughs> tassel thing? Yes, there? I do. I do. I'm wearing it right now. No, get that camera off me. No way. Soccer! This, soccer League. This is my best. This is the Royal Oak Youth Soccer. The Royce, as it's called. It's all the uh, Royal Oak soccer team. Soccer moms and dads in uniform. What a great sight. Oh, little kids out there. All right, let's go back to Courtney. Courtney? I'm standing here with Terry and her nephew, Scotty. And what is it? Scotty's birthday today? Scotty's birthday. And he's, how old are you, Scotty? Oh, he's eating. He is eating ice cream he right now. He three yesterday, but I think he's five. What a great day he's to celebrate. Four. Oh, that's wonderful. What a great day to celebrate your birthday on the parade. It is. And what's your favorite part about the parade so far? Have you liked anything? Yeah, really, the Rockin' Around the Christmas Tree song we really loved. Yeah. It's one of my favorites. I think this is more for adults than kids. Right, there are a lot of adult things for everybody, and but the kids are just loving it. That big float that just went by, how amazing. Oh, I know, it was awesome. And the girls were dancing, and the band was playing, it was wonderful. That was great. Well, we got more music right around the corner. Thanks so much. And we'll throw it back to the parade. Thank you, Courtney. Just saw the Goodwin Company. They've organized holiday magic in this uh, parade. Luther, Batman, Keith. Yeah, I think the Goodman Company, they, they're, they're responsible for bringing uh, Batman Keith to the uh, parade today. Good thing we got a lot of law and order people to keep them in line. And you've got the, the Goodwin Batman. Company, of course. Uh, that's Peggy Goodwin. Uh, she helps, she organizes this holiday magic parade, and I think she's made it uh, uh, the big success uh, that it is today. No question about it. Now that's we have, it. this is uh, Steve and Sharon Gittleman in one of uh, Steve's classic cars. I don't know whether they think this is a dream cruise. <laughs> That's right. Well, why not? It, it, it could be their dream cruise. Yes. Steve and Sharon are always involved in these parades. That's Steve and Sharon in the front seat right there. They're always, always involved in these, and that's a beautiful car. That uh, How many of these cars does Steve have? We'll have to find out afterwards, Charlie. I don't know. Quite a, there's quite a bit there. All right, we're going to take a quick break. We are going to come back. We are in downtown Royal Oak for the 4th Annual Holiday Magic Parade in Royal Oak. And we are back today, a beautiful day, downtown Royal Oak along Washington Avenue for this beautiful parade. Hello, Charlie Langton here along with Commissioner Carlo Giannotti, and what a day it is. You're in the mood, the spirit, the Christmas mood, aren't you? I'm so excited to be here today. I brought my sunglasses just in case, and I'm so happy to say that I had to wear them. I there's a lot of sun out here. It's a beautiful day. And uh, not only you, but about the 15,000 people also that have joined us and you for watching this uh, Royal Oak Parade. Couldn't ask for a better day. Let's listen to the band right now. Rockin' Carolyn, 
Stereo. By the Stereo Addicts. Addicts. Yes, stereo that's, Addicts. That's uh, sponsored by Rocket Printing in Royal Oak. Uh, to take care of all your printing needs. That was a real toe tapper. Yeah, I was. I was into that. I was really into that. Go back and listen to that again. I'm going to bike get the new CD that's coming out. <laughs> hey, there's some Christmas uh, wrapping paper there. This is the uh, Northwood uh, Girl Scouts uh, Troop 156 dressed as Christmas presents. Obviously uh, sponsored by Northwood Elementary. Always oh, good to see another another Girl Scout troop. I bet you didn't know that this is uh, Scout uh, Troop uh, 156 is back this year by popular demand, Charlie. I understand that we're not going to have the parade unless uh, Girl Scout Troop 156 was back in this parade. That was part of their contract. Oh, yes. High-level negotiations. It's always good to see, as you said, uh, involvement from our youth scouting uh, organizations. Hey, there's a shot of WROK in the background there. We always like to see that. The Royal Oak Government Cable Channel. Oh, such a great job. Greg Walter, Richard Wilson, and company. Those are your kids, Carl? Yes, that's uh, some okay. of them. Uh -huh. No, of course. We know that that's uh, Starbucks uh, coffee. That's a Royal Oak Chamber laptop lineup coming up here. This is a new addition this year, and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing uh, seeing the presentation. Are you into the lattes? Are you like the strong coffee, weak coffee? Uh? I'm a uh, venti latte drinker myself. Oh. I like to strong, hot coffee. Great. Is that a snowman? <laughs> Got a snowman being pulled on the uh, wagon there. Just look at the look at the crowd, everybody. And again, as we said before, we met people that have arrived two hours before the start of this parade just to get a good seat. People from all over have come here today to enjoy uh, what we have. This is uh, this is amazing. This is this is the Red Hat Society, I believe, Charlie. Oh, hey, they're playing. They're playing. Are they playing kazoos? I told you. See. There you see. There you go. You could fit in right there, and with a red hat, put a red hat on Carlo Giannotti and a kazoo, and he's in the band. <laughs> he is there. I'll run out there and uh, do my kazooing if you could take care of this by yourself for a little while, Charlie. What do you think? Oh no, I can't. I need all the help I can get. And look at this again. We should say we're on Washington Avenue, downtown Royal Oak. This is the fourth annual holiday magic parade, Sullivan Family's holiday magic parade. Beautiful. Courtney, come on in. Well, I am standing here. Now, you were just telling me something wonderful about Royal Oak. What, you're a resident here? Yes, I've been a resident for 53 years, and it's a wonderful, wonderful place to be. And it's just so great that the school millage passed, and I just want to thank the Sullivan family for just... A wonderful, tremendous day for all of us Royal Oak citizens and on surrounding territory. Well, thank you so much. I don't think I could have said anything better myself. Oh, well, it's a pleasure to be here. We're enjoying every minute. Well, thank okay, you so much on. for coming out. That's some great words from you, and thank you again to the Sullivan family. Oh, wow. Great family. Great family. We have much to be thankful for. We certainly Happy do. Happy Thanksgiving to everyone. Happy Thanksgiving to thank you, you. Good morning, guys. Thanks so much. Now we'll take it back and see what else is going on today. And we, and we will second the the motion to applaud the Sullivan family. Support. All right. All those in favor? <laughs> Say aye. Aye. Very good. Opposed? The motion carries. All right. And we are back to the parade. <laughs> a little parliamentary procedure in there. Why not? See, this is the good part about the after an election. It's nice and done. The people have spoken. Uh, uh, even, you know, there's no winners and losers. Everybody comes out. No, there this is a great place to say. Oh, yeah, there is. There are some losers, I guess, no, there, 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 no, there is. This is the best time uh, for the city. And there's pause again, we see. He makes the rounds, doesn't see, he? See, pause recognizing. Hello, Look, pause. Yes, yeah. wave the pause. Yes, yes. Careful. The first time he walked by, he took a side glance at me, and I think he recognized me. But I, no, think, I think he did. What? He can step on that dog there. Hey, yes. <laughs> pause. Pause 05. Now, here comes, I think this is the... Uh, Laptop lineup here. Ooh. I believe so. It looks like it. It does look like it. This is sponsored by Starbucks Starbucks Coffee. Ooh. I think so. And they are from Royal Oak, I believe. Chamber of Commerce. That's it, the Chamber of Commerce. Ooh. I stand corrected. The Royal Oak Chamber of, Chamber of Commerce, another very dedicated organization in Royal Oak. Been around for a long time. They do a lot, obviously, to promote business. And it's not a bad thing, is it? No, not at all. I dare say we couldn't uh, 
do much without the organizations like the Chamber. And so many other organizations, too. I mean, we've, we've met, we've talked a lot about the, the DDA, National City, Prontos, Andiamos, the Credit Union, the Green Bee, uh, some of the uh, television stations. We uh, should uh, mention uh, uh, Fox 2. I have Fox. A, like Fox 2 a little bit. Uh, at WROK, our own uh, cable television from the government here. And, of course, Magic 105, Free Press, Our Magazine, all coming together and more to make this parade one of the best. I'll have you know that these, uh, this organization has been drilling tirelessly for weeks and weeks. <laughs> they really are, aren't they? They are in step. They are rolling here. Very, very impressive. I didn't know that you needed to do a, a laptop and a, and, a, and a drill. They kind of go together. Huh. Okay, this is uh, well, okay, the community credit union there. Get this some action downtown. Royal Oak. Okay. The unicycle. There we go. That's yeah, what I was waiting for. That's what I was waiting for. Another favorite of mine, unicyclists. Oh. They are backed by popular demand. Uh, this is this is good, too. Now, they have to keep the unicycles away from the horses. That's why we had the horses in the beginning. I'm just kidding. I'm just no, kidding. I think you're right. Oh, is that true? Yes. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. This is always amazing how... Uh, you know, you watch, and there's some young uh, young people Ooh. in there, too, young kids. Watch that. Oh, we almost hit the light. See that? <laughs> can, now, you can do that, can't you? Yes, I can. I just yeah. uh, don't feel like doing it right now, but uh, no, I could if I it. wanted to. Yeah. That's it good. is amazing. I, amazing feat of uh, balance and skill, and they are always a huge hit at these parades. And all ages, too. Oh, my God. This just gets me, gives me the creeps. <laughs> This is uh, sponsored by the Royal Oak uh, Community Credit Union. I I'll, I'll, uh, just wanted everyone to know that the uh, credit union will be giving away free popcorn at Santa's Kingdom later today. And will also hold special visits with Santa on December 10th. I thought you were going to say the credit union is giving away free money. No, not quite. Not <laughs> quite. Not quite. Not yet, anyway. Wait till the new year. I tell you. This is truly amazing. They all will be seeing their, all will be seeing their chiropractors after this parade. What is that? You have a large caterpillar. That's the giant bookworm. Yeah, this is uh, sponsored by Prontos, I believe. Yes, it is. It's a giant bookworm with little bookworms from uh, Royal Oak Star Elementary School's character education classes. Now, what book is being read there? I think hey. that's a Christmas carol. I think that's Marilyn Monroe. I think you're right. <laughs> 1975 Red Capri ca Classic. Obviously, some of the cars from the Woodward Dream Cruise making making its way into the parade here. We like to see that. That's a that's a classic car as well. The car you're talking about. Carl. The car, the car yes, yes, of course, of course. It's a classy bookworm too. This is the bookworm. And we should thank again. Oh, that's about Marilyn Monroe. Between Marilyn Monroe, the bookworm, Marilyn Monroe, the bookworm. <laughs> yeah. Looks like we're back to the bookworm now, Charlie. Which one is better? Oh, which one's better? Oh. And we have another parade. Dondero High School, of course, from beautiful Royal Oak. This is the last year of uh, Dondero, isn't it? It is, it is. But uh, we're going to move forward here now, and uh, we combine the schools, and uh, although there is some sadness, there is uh, hope for the future. And actually, you can hear the, a lot of claps uh, for Don Darrow High School. I think, yeah, I think it's a little bit bitter and sweet, but as you said, the city is going to move forward. Let's take a listen to the Don Darrow High School. I think uh, we do. Must be getting toward the end of the parade if we see people like the people, person we just saw. This is the exciting part of the parade, I'll tell you. This is uh, what makes it all worthwhile. 
You've been a good boy this year, haven't you, Charlie? I've been a, a great boy. Great, great. There he is. There's there the big guy is. himself making his appearance in Royal Oak. You know, it was exciting. We were walking up and down the street before the parade well, talking to... Santa Claus himself right here. Let's, let's go to Courtney right now. Hi, I want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas in Royal Oak. And I want to tell all you little kids to write to me and remember to eat your vegetables and do your homework. That's right. Now, who do you have with you here, Santa? This is Christmas Carol. Oh, hi, everyone. Merry Christmas. Thank you for coming out here, Santa Claus and Christmas Carol. We're so glad you're in our parade. And Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. <laughs> we'll see you soon. All Bye. right. Thanks, Santa. Bye-bye. See you, dude. Merry we, Christmas, Santa. We thought it was his wife. I guess not. Yeah. No, our uh, Christmas. Christmas in Royal Oak. What, what a beautiful sight. You know, we met so many little kids that were so excited about the Saint, uh, Saint Nick and, uh, and this whole holiday. Little kids like Jack, uh, who told me he wants a toolbox. And Helen wants holly pockets. Well, I hope they get them. I hope everything works out for those two. They said they were good. I think they, they are. And it is good. And it was a great day. A great day. Downtown Royal Oak. Again, we've got estimates now. At least 15,000 people here. Fourth annual parade. The biggest and best yet. I want to remind everybody that this holiday magic continues in Royal Oak. Come back down to downtown Royal Oak on December 1st for the tree lighting ceremony. Don't miss that. We both will be there for the tree lighting ceremony. And, of course, later on in the month, the Royal Oak Children's Choir. The uh, choir will be at the First United Methodist Church. To, uh, check the websites for more information. Commissioner Carlo Giannotti, this was a lot of fun, wasn't this it? This was a blast. I'll tell you, I wouldn't, uh, wouldn't have it any other way. This is I'm great. in the Christmas spirit mood. This is, uh, I, I'm ready to go. I've got my list, and uh, I'm going to check it twice, I think, when I get home. I think you'll find all those good voters in there that uh, voted for you in there. <laughs> all right. We want to thank, of course, you. There are so many people to thank. Uh, we, 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 hopefully, we've done it throughout the show. We want to thank you for watching. And from all of us here, downtown Rolling Oak, Charlie Lighton, Commissioner Carlo Giannotti, wishing you a very safe and happy Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays in downtown Rolling Oak. Thank you, and Merry Christmas. joke for you. What has two thumbs and likes milk and cookies? This guy right here. <laughs>